Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're continuing in the book of Daniel, in the Old Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And I'm working on a message. <laughs> I got a message. And I've got a... I've got to get it straight in my head first <laughs> before I can give it to you. So I apologize for the delay. But today we're going to continue in chapter 3. And the message is concerning chapter 2. So chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of an, made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubics, and the breadth thereof six cubics. He set it up in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and captains, the judges, and the treasurers, and the counselors and the sheriffs and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye shall fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. And whoso falleth down, fall, excuse me, and whoso falleth not down and worshipeth the same hour shall be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Therefore at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackcloth, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore at that time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackcloth, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready that at that time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackcloth, palsy, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. 
But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Doesn't this sound like Revelation 13 that I just read to you? Hmm? The image? <laughs> Oh, then, Nebuch then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visions was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, the furnace was exceeding hot. The flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Drach, Mechiach, and Abednego. And these three men... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell down bound into the midst of the fi burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astoned, and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth, and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was a hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel, and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word. <laughs> yeah. And yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Not a hair of our head will be. <laughs> not a hair of our head. Just remember in Revelation, not a hair of our head. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Oh my goodness, let this be inspiration to you and me and all of us. <laughs> and as always, I love you. Gosh, I wish I could just hug some of you. I mean, <laughs> hug you all. I mean, oh. This is, you know, this is as close as we can get right now. But one day, we'll be together in heaven. Oh, my goodness. And we'll meet face to face after we see our God in heaven and his beautiful son. Oh, when we see Jesus, we're either coming with him <laughs> or he's going to change us in the twinkling of an eye. Or we'll already be there. Either way, or in e any way, <laughs> we'll be there. And as always, I love you.